Hi, it's Dan with EUJuicers.com coming to you as always from our offices here in the heart of Europe. And this video is a special request that was sent to us. It's the middle of summer and it is red currant season. And here in Central Europe, a lot of people like to juice red currant. But juicing red currant manually is a tricky process because of the seeds. You typically have to boil it to get the skins off, push it through a cheesecloth to filter out the seeds. But we've made a couple of videos showing that you can do it in a juicer as well. So we were asked, how about the new Sauna 727 Supreme? We wanna see that juicing red currants. So that's what this video is all about. This is the first time I've actually tried juicing red currants in this, so it will be new for me as well. And I've brought two different types of currants. These ones here I bought in the store today. They're kind of soft, they're a bit older. We'll see how they do. And these here I just picked in my garden this morning before I came into work. These should juice a little better. Now the tricky thing about juicing red currant is the seeds inside can plug up the juicing screen and also they have a very high pectin content. That's the stuff that makes jam and jellies. That's what makes things gelatinous. And that can kind of start backing up in a juicer. The advantage of the 727 Supreme is it's got this variable speed motor. So I can start it like at speed one, which is 40 RPM, speed two, which is 65. And if things start going well, I could speed it up. But normally with currants, you wanna juice them slowly, especially in a horizontal juicer. You wanna take your time. The advantages of juicing currants in a horizontal is you don't have to cut these stems. These longer stems will jam in a vertical, uh, in the pulp outlet. But in a horizontal, that doesn't matter. On the other side, a vertical will juice currants faster because um, it's just a bigger juicing chamber and it's got those wiping blades that will keep the screen clean. So let's try it. I'm gonna start first with the uh, currants I picked in my garden. I'll start it at speed one. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and one thing I did wanna mention, one thing I like about the 727 that most other horizontals don't have, it's got this deep bowl here. So I can just ladle in or just pour in the berries, but again, do it slowly. So I've still got a few red currants left, but the glass is actually quite full. It's handy to have this juice flap here so I can close it, move the cup away. I found that running the juicer at speed two seemed to be ideal. Speed one was still a little slow. Two was a good compromise. I ran it at three for a while and it worked okay with the smaller ones, but not the bigger ones because again, these bigger ones are older, they're riper and they have more pectin, which causes them to back up. <clears throat> but if things start backing up, if you start to see it coming up here, just stop putting the currents in for a little while and it will work its way through. And um, one thing to know, this isn't something you're going to want to drink straight. You could, it's going to be really tart, it's going to be gelatinous. This is used as a base for either juice recipes, it's great mixed with like watermelon, Granny Smith apples, things like that. On its own, it's thick, it's very tart. It's best added in about a one to three ratio to other juices, one part of this to the other juices. But the main thing people want to know uh, if this can juice currants is because they like to make jam out of this. We've done a video where we had jam from berries to actual jam in about 30 minutes. All you have to do is take this juice, add the amount of sugar you like. You don't really need to add pectin because it's already got pectin built into it and you just boil it for a little while. So that's it. It was just, uh, let's test the 727 with red currants. Seemed to work fine. The variable speed was a plus. Make sure to use the coarse screen and to feed it slowly. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'm Dan with EU Juicers, and I will see you next time.